So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you're gonna click on any service and then click on W on your keyboard. Now you want to scroll down until you find Windows Event Log. You wanna double click on it and then change the startup type to automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. If you got to the stage and it was already running and it was already on automatic, then you wanna click on restart the service. And now you want to click on any service once again and click on T on your keyboard. Then you want to find task scheduler. Do the same thing. Double click on it. Make sure that the startup type is on automatic and that the service status is on running. And then click on OK. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in date and time settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to make sure your time zone is correct. You have set time automatically turned on and you want to scroll down and then click on sync now. And now for the last step, you wanna head over to search again and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you wanna click on check for updates. Make sure the computer is fully up to date. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.